Well, hello, my Connect friends. Um, you're about to watch a video where I'm going to be explaining our project for today. But I kind of want to, because you don't have exactly the same materials as you're going to be seeing in the video, I wanted to talk you through it a little bit. If you got this bag of supplies from me, and if you didn't, don't panic, I'll get to you in a minute. But if you did, and you're going to take out this big brown piece of paper, it's folded, don't worry, it's not going to be a problem. The next thing that you hopefully will find in your bag, and if you don't, it's not a problem, but in there was probably a little tiny black stick that looks like maybe I messed up, but no, 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 I want you to have that. And then lastly, something that you should have is a black oil pastel like this. Again, if you don't have it, no biggie. Now, I was hoping that all of you by now would have bought a 24-pack of crayons. If you don't have that, again, don't panic. We'll figure out something else. Maybe if you have old crayons at home or if you have oil pastels. Um, otherwise, you could probably even uh, figure out a way of doing it with paints that you have at home. Um, but basically, we're just doing some cave art today. And this little thing is actually um, a twig. If you look at it carefully, you're gonna be able to see that it, that little part is not like lead or something. That's actually kind of like the beginning of the tree ring that you would see on a twig. And this was burnt and um, people a long time ago would use it to draw. And so I wanted you to be able to try that out and that's why you have that. If you start to get annoyed with it after a while, you can always use your black oil pastel. I just wanted you to have a chance, since we are gonna be doing cave drawings today, to actually use something that they would have had a long time ago. Now, in the video, you're gonna see me use some white chalk um, on the paper. You're gonna be taking this brown paper and crumpling it up. And I want you to crumple it up so much you can even jump on it at home. And then when you open it back up, if you don't have white chalk, and if you don't have white pastel, no biggie, but I am gonna ask you to do something really mean to your white crayon, which is that I'm gonna ask you to peel off the paper. Now, I always hate doing this because my fingernails are already filthy, but now I gotta get them even more so. But I want you to peel off the paper and we're wanting to make the paper look really old. Now, if you're sitting at home going, I don't have brown paper, guess what? You can just, if you have a grocery bag from, uh, from the grocery store, like I have right here, you can take that and just use one part of it and you can um, do the project on that. It's gonna work exactly the same. So, I know you guys are problem solvers, so I know you're gonna figure out how to do this, whether you have all the supplies or not. But once you have this, I want you to take that, the white crayon, and I want for you to rub it over your paper. And do you see how when I do that, and I push kind of hard, you start to see all the little crinkles in the paper. I want for you to do that so that it looks really old. From there, you're gonna be drawing, and like I said, um, after you watch the video, you can use your oil pastel or your twig, if you decide to go around your hand or to color in things white, then you just use the pointy end of your crayon. All right, have fun.